Hello, beautiful bloodsuckers. This is Crimson, and you are watching some Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Now pick up where I left off after beating up some, uh, some dealers up there in their little house by the beach. It wasn't completely necessary, but I decided to do it anyway. Then we had a chat with these crazy people. At least two of them. I think, uh, they, they were crazy enough for, for everyone else. Uh, uh, let's, let's see what's on the pier. Gotta return our astral light to Mercurio. You'd appreciate that. Was that a wolf? But... Okay. Not your typical... Santa Monica... resident. Hyenas? Coyotes? Hyenas? Coyotes, at least. Maybe both. I don't know how the hyenas would have got here, but... It's a possibility. I like how everything's conveniently... You know, fenced off. Oh, I can't even get to the fence. Dull design! I want you to talk to me. Uh, psychic reading. Uh, well, that lady down by the beach seems pretty good at it. Oh, hello. Is that bubble gum? No, bubble bum. Is that better than bubble gum? Ooh, arcades. River raid. Blood. Quest. Pitfall. Cod. Sweet. Vamp face. More blood quest. More river raid. Little fortune telling machine. More more cod pinball. Oh, and uh, two vending machines for liquid demon seed. I don't think I'd take any of the liquid demon seed to be honest. Maybe my character would though. Quest log updated. Murder the police. Stop right there! Right there! Did I'm just gonna slowly walk away. Hello, dead guy. Slowly walk away like nothing ever happened. Okay. That was a moment. Freedom. Oh, come on, legs. You can jump higher than that. Like that. that that's fine. Look at my magic go. Whee! It's good to be a vampire. I don't need the sun anyway. All it does is get in my eyes. Hurts. Hey, Seagull. Having a time over there? I need... I need something to... nibble on. They have blood packs, but... You know, there's some nice... Some nice things... Up here to... To chew on. More police sealing things off with their wiggly... Wind snakes. Aha! You there. Why don't you come with me? Hey, honey. Looking for a date? How much will my purse be lightened? Or affirmative. Affirmative. Mm. Let's go somewhere more intimate. You lead the way. Walk this way. Yes, the intimacy of the parking lot. Is uh, this intimate enough for you? With your jiggle? How about... Okay, honey. Let's see what you got. With relish and mustard. Well. This is quite the means of... Uh, Spending my my hard earned money. So you you have some fun here, lady. Enjoy your forty dollars and your jiggle and your under boob. Gonna stare blankly back at you as you stare blankly at me. Let's just go on now. Before too much is seen there. That's fine. It's fine. Let's deliver our astro light to bleeding out man. No one, no one cleaned this floor. I think uh, it'd be suspicious. Oh, look at him being unconscious. If I could punch you to wake you up, I would. Have you crossed the dark river, Mercury? I got the boom boom. Yeah. Did you waste those sons of bitches? I sent them to the other side. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? 
Here is your gold, Mercury. Oh, you're a lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. Astrolite is fun, no? That astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Who tells me where the house of wares? Well, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. The worm hides in turbid liquids. Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where is the dark daughter of Janice? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. What can you tell me of the dark daughter of Janice? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking bro for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. I need you to paint a picture of someone. Who exactly? Janice. His white daughter. Therese. Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. What whispers? Call me old-fashioned, but uh, I just can't talk about that kind of thing in front of a woman. Refuse me again and I'll make you my eunuch. Alright. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Uh, anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. I need you to paint me a picture of someone. Who exactly? The worm in his black bath. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Man of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Tell me of the lady and her places. Specifically? Alright, I think uh, we, we've had enough of you. I am no longer here. Enjoy your time on the couch, lazy man. Fleet-footed guard. I must seek Janice's daughters. I'm quite the history buff. Anyone can understand why my character keeps making those references. So, let's see. The diner. If I was a diner, where would I be? E or the asylum. Which is right here. Yes, that works. Blood bank. Ooh. But I could get blood there. Hello, bum. Oh, you're not a bum man at all, are you? Okay. I... Uh, Red-eyed man. Where are you darting? Doomsayer says every second takes us closer to the time of judgment? No, oh, there's a doomsayer somewhere around here. I was following a shadowy man that was darting around. Foxy boxes. Oh, there's the diner. Oh, there's the doomsayer. Chiming in. Other lady of the night. You the doomsayer? Just a bunch of bombs. Alright. Alright. To the diner. Sewers offer great protection and security for vampires who wish it. Especially those for Ratu who can't be seen. Uh, hello, sir. Weird arm. I hope that's tattoos or something. Something I can help you with. The night is as cold as a woman wronged. I guess. A strange weight lies on your shoulders. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Dark and heavy your burden. I leave it to you. Goodbye then. Hmm. 
What'll it be, honey? In the air, spoiled scent. On the floor, rodent pellets. You sell filth here. You the health inspector? I'm putting the sass in my report, too. You know, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's fifty bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting one. Yay. I must seek other opportunities for my corruption. Very well. Yep. I just extorted fifty bucks from the diner owner. I'm a good vampire. Oh, uh, can I go to the men's room? Ah, uh, not the women's room either. Uh, vampires even busy here? need to do that kind of thing. Well, I'm gonna bump into you anyway. Hey, hey, Mr. Chef. How you doing? Can we get some some coffee? Got anything else to say to me? What'll it be, honey? I see a pale girl in my mind. Have you seen the pale girl too? Is that a trick question? Surely you have seen the blood drinkers quaffing the crimson mead. No, no, I have never seen that. Do the pale girls play here? Pale girls? Oh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. Yeah, she hasn't been in here in ages. Child of the surf and his beauty, have you seen this couple before? Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, about four dozen a week. Thin blood. Do you know these words? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? From where did the words thin blood enter your brain? Mm. I know I've heard that before. The pale, pretty flower girl muttered them, perhaps. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah. I remember her. Yeah. Weird. She left the tent, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? But the flower girl is so close. Ah, she cannot come. So I will deliver them. Ooh. And now I've, not only did I extort money, but now I also have another woman's things. This is working out well. Oh, and I have a picture. And some experience to spend. And you guys are all walking around the street and everything. Um... I'm looking for. All right, inventory. Girl's picture. A photo of a young woman. The message on the back of the photo reads: August 03rd, Santa Monica, Lily. You're spinning awfully fast. There we go. So that's what Lily looks like in this very weird effect. Um, car stereo. <laughs> a popular model stereo that might be worth something to someone who asks a few questions about its origin. So something to to sell. Oh. A bail bond for Rolf Tolkien. <laughs> Just a pack of ordinary chewing gum. Bubble bum. How about bubble bubble tape? More of a. Yeah, let's let's ignore the hubba bubbas. Hubba bubba bubba bubba. Well, uh, I guess I have a clue and some more experience points. Oh, eat. Where should I spend them? Now, oh, can I be more seducy for eight doing it? I will be the ultimate seductress, even though I'll end up never managing to uh, actually go through all the dialogue options. I will be the prettiest Malkavian. No one will resist my charms. Mr. Monster. It's a nice name. What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? I see before me a beauty who shares the madness of my mind. What? Oh my, a Malkavian. This ought to be absolutely delicious. Two minds as crazy as ours, and who knows just what might happen. 
Greetings, daughter of Janus. Oh, who is that man? Uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, but you've got it bad, little girl. Not sure exactly what is real and what isn't. Janus, let's see. Isn't that a two-faced Roman god? Of course, you're right. You just happen to meet the prettier face first. You are the whiteness. She of alabaster and ivory. <laughs> Wait until Therese hears that. I am white to her black. She'll be absolutely furious. Of course, I won't be wearing white to any weddings, but we can talk about that later. Fear and love are two sides of the same coin. <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. You mean we're both rolled up and twisted? When we get turned on, there's bound to be flames. Burn, baby, burn. Give me the pleasure of your label. I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. I'm the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. My heart beats like a thousand primal drums. Give me the gift of your name. I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. You make madness feel like my last sunrise. I like this character. I like the things she has to say. We, we have such chemistry. Hey, Barkeep. What can I get you, beautiful? I seek the daughters of Janice. Janice? What the hell are you talking about? Damn, I always get the weird The sisters, spawned of the two headed god. Their voices are the mother of my ears. Wow. I have no idea what you just said. Is she expecting you? Jeanette will love the words that I birth for her. Uh, yeah, whatever. Look, I'll let you on up, but if you start getting too weird up there, I'll have to come up and escort your pretty little behind back out on the street, you hear me? Your blood is thicker than an alehouse brew. Farewell. That's so generous of him. Oh, hello. Um. My mind left long ago, but my eyes have not been able to since my ingress. No. Oh yeah, I'm like totally serious. Come here. I want to whisper something. She doesn't seem too pleased with me. Oh. Man, these characters are all so fancy. Oh! Yeah, rave party time. There's no band playing though. Man, we should we should get the lights off and everyone getting fuzzy stuff. Just have glowy lights everywhere. Nah, just me. Well no one's playing. These dances are weird. People scare me. What's with this loser? I'm coming here and that. Put on some real clothes. Or take off some clothes. And you know, let's, let's admire the physics for a minute. Let's move before that keeps going. Freedom! Thank you. And AD again. Anyone else up here have something to say? Just I'm the same model you used? Is that all? Well, hello? Sheesh, is this place always so dead? Death is only a sweet beginning, my lovely. Ooh, that was an interesting thing to say. What are you, some kind of barroom philosopher? Or is that your idea of girl talk? My idea of girl talk is my lips on your neck, sweetness. I... Uh, I don't know. I'm not usually into girls. But I'm so into you. 
Come here. Let me tell you a dark little secret. I love my dollies. You wanna come play with them? Dollies like to be squeezed. Dollies like to be squeezed. I am... I am a master pickup artist. Well... Uh... I don't know what more to say to that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. With my sanity is off to you.